10 Social Media Do's and Don'ts They say no press is bad press, but that is so not true if you are a brand with a social media presence. But not to worry, there are a few easy ways to keep tabs on what to do and what not to do so that you can make the most of your presence and avoid the common trappings of this highly capricious medium. Yes, no shortcuts. There are no free lunches in life. The same goes for social media presentations. No matter how well your content is, you do not top the charts in a day. Nothing magical happens overnight. It takes many human hours to be a successful brand on social media. Yes, add value. At the end of the day, these platforms are just another way for you to reach your audience. So keep your content interesting, no matter the format you use. You can work well with teasers, but there must be a value add at the end of it. Yes, have clear goals. Achieving those results is no accident. It takes a clear set of goals that need to be planned right at the beginning. Whether it's your overall strategy or a strategy for one particular campaign, you need to be clear on what you are trying to achieve. Yes, stay consistent. Then there is the mistake that a lot of businesses make. Once you reach a certain point, there is a temptation to think you're above the game. No one is. The social media crowd is a classic example of the old adage, the customer is king. Yes, take advantage of promoted content options. If you don't have a big budget, or any for that matter, you will be relying on organic reach for your content. But if you can spare some moolah, there is the option of promoting your page and products. No, don't overdo the hashtags. Then there are things you should never do. Hashtags are great, but not if you overdo them. You might want to reach as many people as you can with these, but too many hashtags are no longer the case, and hence makes for a bad strategy. No, check your spelling and grammar. This is just awful. You might be human and mistakes are a possibility. That is why you should have a spell check enabled, and then get someone else to take a look at your copy too. No, don't spam them. Some businesses still think that a lot of information gives the audience the chance to sit with all of it. Nope. People don't want to be flooded with posts because it starts to feel like spam. No, don't only chase the numbers. Speaking of followers, a lot of tricks we've talked about in this book are about gaining an audience. But don't restrict yourself to the numbers. Social media is a fickle place and customers change their minds every day. No, voice of authority, yes, but, know-it-all, no. When you talk about your product or service or your industry, you want to sound like the voice of authority that you are. Be confident and knowledgeable, but don't be a show-off. That looks like arrogance and is condescending to your consumers. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.